you're watching this on Friday, that means you're watching this after the Commanders Report Live watch party on Thursday. Listen, man, this game was terrible. I'm just, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. The Chicago Bears, which many people ranked as the worst team in football, doubled your score at home in an embarrassing effort. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna let some people rant here, and I'm gonna react to, react to some rants here on the Commanders Report, and let's try to figure this thing out, man. So let's start with Ward Buddy Bear, who goes too bad. You all ain't playing the Raiders because they would be lucky to score 20 with Josh McPudo as their coach. I'm not even sure the Commanders could beat the Raiders tonight. I'm just not sure. I mean, especially off a short week. You know, this this defense looked soft. They weren't tackling. The first half, the offense couldn't get anything going against a bad Bears defense. It was a bad performance tonight. I think even Josh McSuck could have beaten the Washington Commanders tonight. Just unfortunate. Now we get to smart guy here. He says they should have stayed. The Washington football team, the sadness of the team name fits the team's performance against the Bear. Bears, you're right, smart guy. You know, I think, I, you know, I'm wearing a commander's shirt right now. This thing is going to be worth a lot of money in 100 years because they're only going to be the commanders for two seasons. You know, Magic Johnson, Josh Harris has already talked about how they're going to change the name. And, yeah, man, they looked as sorry as this name suggests <laughs> on Thursday Night Football, man. It was not good. Now let's go to Tommy Smokes, who says, should the commanders fire Ron Rivera? I mean, not right now, I don't think. You know, it's only week five. Sam Howell is actually playing pretty decently. He's playing very poorly in spurts. We saw that in the first half this week. We saw that against the Bills in week three. He's playing really bad football in certain spurts, and then he's playing really good football in other spurts. So, you know, this offensive line is terrible. The defense, it's soft like Charmin. Will they get it figured out? They have the talent to do it. So I'm not going to completely give up on him. I'm not going to completely give up on Ron Rivera just yet. But, yeah, man, if you get four or five losses in a row against bad football teams here, yeah, maybe it's time to bring in Eric Bieniemy and see what he can do as the head man here in Washington. So let me, th let me know what you guys think down there in the comments section. Is it time to fire head coach Ron Rivera? Give me a yes or a no. This is going to be the pinned comment on today's show. So YouTube's going to throw you an ad break here in just a couple of seconds. When that happens, take advantage of that time by giving, giving me a yes or a no down there in the comments section. Then we got one from Cameron Briglin, who says, sorry that the, the U got crushed by the Bears. Um, so I'm guessing this one's coming from a Bears fan. Congratulations, man. I mean, congrats on keeping your head coach around for another week. He sucks. So uh, maybe it's not such a good thing for your the Bears, huh? Then we got Brian Jones. Who says, DJ Moore cooked us tonight. What happened? Hashtag commanders. Uh, what happened was uh, there was multiple instances where Emmanuel Forbes, Kendall Fuller, Benjamin St. Juice, they straight up got schooled uh, in terms of in pass coverage. One of my keys to victory tonight was load up the box, which means you're going to be on one-on-one -on -one coverage with guys like DJ Moore, with guys like Darnell Mooney. And Moore and Mooney. Both cooked our guys all night long, all night. There was multiple throws Justin Fields made in this football game that were wide misses to wide open receivers down the field. If he would have hit all of those throws, if he was Patrick Mahomes tonight, it might have been 50 to 20. Might have been even worse than that, man. So DJ Moore, he's a top 10 receiver in this league, in my opinion, because he's played with the crappy Panthers and now the crappy Bears. He doesn't get the proper credit he deserves. He's fantastic. He had that awesome uh, contested catch touchdown, his second touchdown of the night. But yeah, man, Emmanuel Forbes, Kendall Fuller, this commander secondary, which I thought was going to be pretty good coming into the year, they got exposed here in week five. Now, before I finish uh, up this mailbag here post game, let's talk about our sponsor here at BetUS. Go to chatsports.com slash bet and use promo code chat125 to get a 125% deposit bonus. And listen, I wouldn't uh, use my entire deposit bonus here on the commanders. I just wouldn't. If you did tonight, you're losing all of your money. Plain and simple. So uh, pretty much what happens is if you put in a deposit of $100 to $600 on the BetUS website, they're going to give you 125% of that money back to you to use on your bet. So a $100 deposit 
is a $225 value because you get $125 additional dollars for free to use on your bets. You'd be an idiot not to use this deal right here. Go to chatsports.com slash bet and use promo code chat125 to take advantage of that deposit bonus today. All right, so now Alan Brown asks, what do the commanders need to do to get back on track? There's a lot of things, man, a lot of things. I think Sam Howell needs to find a nice consistency. You know, I really like his decisiveness in the pocket. I like his pocket presence. I like his comfortability targeting the middle of the field. And I think his accuracy is actually pretty decent as well. But listen, man, he's always under pressure. You got to do something about this offensive line. I don't know what the answer is. I don't know if it's signing Ben Jones, the best available interior offensive lineman in free agency. I don't know if it's trading for somebody. I don't have the answers to how to fix this offensive line. I just know it needs to get a lot better. Uh, it's really hurting the run game. It's hurting the pass game. It's hurting everything in Eric Bieniemy's offense. And the thing is, what makes this so frustrating is you can see the wheels turning. You can see uh, Eric Bieniemy do some really creative stuff here in Washington, but this offensive line just won't give Sam Howell the proper time consistently to make plays. And that's a huge issue. And then when you combine that with a defense that gives up over 30 points a game, that's not a recipe for success. Okay, so I think the defense is going to play a really, really big uh, role here in uh, turning this thing around, right? The defense. I mean, you got four first-rounders on the defensive line, for Christ's sakes. Freaking play like it. All right, yes, Jack Del Rio doesn't help you out with a lot of blitzes. But guess what? If you got four guys that are all drafted in the first round, you should be able to get home with four. They're not doing that enough right now. And then on the back end, I mean, goodness gracious, Kendall Fuller, I think it's been our best guy so far. But Emmanuel Forbes, holy schnitzel, this guy has been cooked in coverage by number one receivers these last two weeks. A.J. Brown and D.J. Moore took his lunch today, and he was benched. And then Benjamin St. Juice, not a whole lot better, man. You know, I just don't know what the answer is. It's going to be tough. They need to play a lot better. It's going to come down to how well coached this football team is. And if they don't make the playoffs, Ron Rivera is gone, plain and simply. Josh Harris isn't going to wait around for uh, the right for him to prove himself here. He needs to prove it this year. I mean, Josh Harris owes Ron Rivera nothing. He didn't hire him. He's not his guy. So he needs to make the playoffs here. If the commanders have any shot of doing that, they need to get back on track. The offensive line needs to play better, and the defense needs to play a hell of a lot better. The only problem is it doesn't look like it might. All right, next one. Noah Hood says, do you think there's a good chance Chase Young gets traded if the commanders keep losing? I mean, yes. I think there's a very good chance. I mean, I think Chase Young has actually been the best member of the defensive line for the commanders. So it might be Montez Sweat. Right, they're both in the last year of their contract. You've already paid Jonathan Allen and Deron Payne. I don't know what's going to happen with that, man. If you keep losing and it, we get to the trade deadline and you're pretty much done, I mean, with Ron Rivera needing to make the playoffs this year, I'm not sure if there's ever a point where he's going to be selling at the trade deadline this year. But, man, it's, it's definitely not looking good. It's definitely a possibility that the commanders make some moves and they sell some pieces at the trade deadline at this point. Then we got Jake's Adventure. He says, this was a disappointing loss. We can do better. Hell yeah, we can do better. We just lost by freaking 20 points, three possessions to the freaking Chicago Bears, which at Chat Sports this week, we do a weekly power rankings where each host and each producer ranks every single team. And uh, I put the Bears 29th. I thought there were some teams that were worse than the Bears, to be honest with you, because I think Justin Fields gives them a bit of an edge over teams like Carolina and Denver at this point. But mo everybody else, except for me, had the Bears dead last in the National Football League, including our Bears host. And you lost to that team by 20 points at home. Losing to Matt Eberflus is a fucking joke. It's a joke. Hit that sub button right now. As you can tell, I'm pretty angry with this team right now. If you're seeing this tomorrow morning. Uh, sorry for the profanity, I guess. But, man, this is a bad game. Need to let it out a little bit, I guess. Make sure you click that subscribe button for Commander's coverage. Throughout this 2023 season, I'll be here for you guys. Win, lose, or draw, even if you lose by 20 to the worst team in football. 
I'm going to be here giving you guys my takes. So if you want that kind of stuff, go ahead, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button right now.